This video is part 2 of two part video series of acceleration. Let us see what we have done in a previous video session. We have discussed about acceleration. Acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. Let me give you all some more examples. So how do we measure acceleration? As you know, velocity is the speed at which a body is moving in a particular direction. It tells us how fast or slow something is moving in a certain direction. Acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. When we talk about the rate of change, the reference of time comes into picture. That is, change in position in a given time. Acceleration is denoted by letter A can be defined as the rate of change of velocity at a given time. The question is, how do we calculate the rate of change of velocity? To find the rate, we need to know two things, initial velocity and final velocity. What is meant by initial velocity? Initial means beginning. It is the velocity at which motion of any body or object starts. In other words, velocity at time 0. It is denoted by letter u. And what is final velocity? Final velocity is the speed and direction of a body or object that has reached the maximum velocity. It is denoted by letter v. Time is denoted by letter t. So, rate of change of velocity will be final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time which is represented by the formula a is equal to v minus u upon t the unit of initial and final velocity is meter per second which is denoted by m upon s unit of time is seconds denoted by small s so to find the unit for acceleration let's write the formula a is equal to v meter per second minus u meter per second upon t s. Let us look at the numerator. In the numerator, we are calculating the change in velocity. Therefore, the answer of the numerator will also be in meter per second. After we get the change in velocity, we need to divide it by the amount of time required for the change. That will be m upon s divided by s is equal to m upon s multiplied by 1 upon s that gives you meter per second square. So the unit of acceleration is meter per second square. Now let's use the formula in different scenario. Suppose a car accelerates in the same direction of the velocity. Its initial velocity is 0 meter per second and final velocity v is 20 meter per second. Time taken by it is t that is 10 seconds. What will be its acceleration? So formula for acceleration is a is equal to b minus u upon t. Now let's substitute the value in it. As we know we need to find a our final velocity is 20 meter per second minus initial velocity is 0 meter per second divided by t is 10 seconds. A is equal to 20 minus 0 so that is 20 meter per second upon 10 seconds. Here we get A is equal to 2 meter per second square. Here acceleration will always be positive because it moves in the same direction of the velocity. 
Suppose a car is moving 20 at 20 meter per second. Suddenly brakes are applied and the car comes to a complete stop at 10 seconds. What will be its acceleration? Let us find out. Here initial velocity is 20 meter per second. Final velocity is 0 meter per second. And it comes to stop at 10 seconds. What will be its acceleration? As we know, acceleration is equal to V minus U upon T. Let's substitute these values. A is equal to final velocity is 0 minus initial velocity is 20 meter per second upon time T is 10 seconds. Here, minus 20 upon 10 we get acceleration is minus 2 meter per second square. We get this acceleration is a negative because the velocity decreases. Like velocity, acceleration is a vector quantity. Why? Because it has both magnitude and direction. Acceleration is of two types, positive acceleration and negative acceleration. If the acceleration happens at the direction of velocity, it is said to be positive acceleration. If acceleration happens in the opposite direction of the velocity, it is said to be negative acceleration. In terms of time, in positive acceleration, if time increases, the velocity increases, that is from low to high. On the other hand, in the negative acceleration, as the time increases, the velocity decreases. Look at the image. What information is it providing? The initial velocity of the car is 0 meter per second as it parked initially. As it starts to move, every second its in velocity increases by 1 meter per second and it continues to do so. So what can be concluded from this information? It shows that the car is moving at constant acceleration. That is, it is moving at the same acceleration, which is A is equal to 1 meter per second square. Therefore, when a moving body has a constant change in velocity in a given time, it is said to be uniform acceleration. Let's look at the next image. What information this image providing? The initial velocity of the car is 0 meter per second. As it starts moving, it covers 5 meter in the first 60 seconds. Then 11 meter in second 60 seconds. Then 15 meters in third 60 seconds. What does it mean? It means that the car's velocity is different at every 60 seconds. Therefore, this type of motion where acceleration is not constant but is different for same time period or it does not cover the same distance in equal time interval, it is said to be non-uniform acceleration. Now it's time for assignment. I'm giving you few questions. Try to solve it on your own. Question number one. A car starts from rest and reaches a speed of 30 meter per second in one minute. Calculate the acceleration of the car. Question number 2. A butterfly is flying randomly at a speed of 2 cm per second. Will you call it an accelerated motion? Why or why not? Question number 3. A ball is thrown upwards. What will be its acceleration? Choose the correct option. A. 9.8 m per second square. B. Negative 9.8 m per second square. C. 0 m per second square. I hope my video helped you to understand the concept of acceleration.